Hey guys, it's your girl Notice, and you have just tuned in to Notice Promotion Presents. Go ahead and introduce yourself, beautiful. Hello. Um, my name is Kayla Joe, and my music name is Honeydew. Uh, from Youngstown, originally from Niles. And, um, I don't know, I'm here to just be me. <laughs> Okay, let's tell us some stuff about you. Um, you're an artist, first of all. Honey, do how long you been um doing that? Rapping, singing. What is it that you do? Uh, I actually rap and sing, and um, I've been doing it a long time. Just you know, like behind the doors, and I'm ready to like put it out there, out there, and get some stuff done. I seem nervous, don't I? No, no. Not at all. Okay, tell us, how long you been doing music? Um, well, I started playing the piano when I was eight. Actually getting into doing tunes and stuff. Um, I started singing around that time, too. And singing in church. And, you know, every Sunday doing the little leads and the church songs. So I started there. I, that was... That was a nervous time for me. Like, I was always scared to get in front of everybody. But I ended up getting used to it. I still get nervous every once in a while. So, what is your genre of music? Because you said church. Oh, So, what is your genre of music? Singing? Rapping? Which one? I mean, like, what, what, what type? You a hot girl summer? <laughs> you a I summer walker? Be, <laughs> I can be. <laughs> you know, um... I like to sing a little R and B, uh, slow, or it could be hype. Like I could do whatever, honestly. Like rap, uh, R and B, country. I mean, I'm I'm real diverse. So the music you got coming out right now, what are we expecting from you? Some hotness. <laughs> some hotness. Some hotness. You got some twerking in there. What? <laughs> what we got? I got some twerking songs. Um, I got some of those sentimental songs. I got the hardcore rap ones, you know. Hardcore rap, like hardcore, like what? You killing people, mar you no, robbing not the like nerd gang murdering or nothing like that, but like you know, in the streets type. Oh, she a boss. Ah! In the streets type. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it dissing, but yeah. Like. Oh, so you like battling and stuff like that? I do. Okay. So, are you married? Yes. How old are you? How old are you? Okay, okay. And modeling. This is something that you've been doing, choosing to do. Where are you trying to go? Um, I'm choosing to do it. Uh, I haven't really had experience with modeling except for like doing my own pictures and doing them how I want them to be and stuff. But um, like being a BBW, it's good. To be able to do something like this, so not only is it helping myself, it's helping other people who are in my situation feel better about themselves. Cause, like, it's hard being a BBW out here, you know. I feel you. I was once one. And I tell people I still eat like one. So if anybody want to feed me, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I want to just let you know, make represent. sure that yeah, represent. Let them know that. Beauty comes in the 3X too. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true too. Yeah. Now, you've had the experience because it's always hot talk on Facebook that they've never seen a human traffic happen to a BBW. So, Ooh. please, can you please give us a, some, uh, give us some hotness on the story, honey? Okay, well... And a word from our sponsors. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can always catch our show on Spotify, Anchor, and Apple Podcasts, wherever you are. But go ahead and share, and don't forget to subscribe. I mean, I'm still looking for him, so I'm bringing out names. <laughs> but basically, Oscar, uh, he was the um, manager of Mabel and Mo back in the 90s for wrestling. And he heard one of my songs from my sister, came to my house. Me and my husband were like, oh my God, this wrestler with characters in my house. You know, um, gave him a little bit of money, told me he was going to take me to Florida 
for three days and do a photo shoot and make some songs and when I got there it was it was a nightmare like at first you know I was living a life partying with people and you know getting into it because I'm like oh my god I'm meeting these famous people like I'm the shit excuse my French I feel you. but yeah like after three days I ended up being there longer and he kept saying you know coming up with excuses like we got to get to this we got to get to that and then he was introducing me to people saying I'm an up and coming artist but really behind my back he was like trying to auction me off it was disgusting <laughs> I, I understand very I understand. disgusting so it is not true you could be a be beautiful this period that's all they want beautiful and they will try to get you too. <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> okay, so have you shot videos? Have you done any videos with your music or anything? And um, any working with any photographers? Um, no, I am like fresh with it. <laughs> fresh with. I it. mean, I do my own pictures, like you know, taking little pictures here and there. But that's about it. And um, videos, nah, not yet. Okay, I'm getting there. Trying to. All right. So, who did your mom and makeup today? I did. Okay. Have you been doing makeup for a long time? Yeah, since I was like 12. 12. Okay. Does it look okay? Yes, yeah, she look good, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you worked with any of the makeup artists in the area? You haven't worked with any photographers, but have you worked with any makeup artists, brands, logo sponsors? No, mm -hmm. no. Any children, honey? I have one. One. Will we? Let's give a shout out. Give a shout out to my little bookie bookie. You <laughs> <laughs> hate me for that. Bookie bookie. Um, Jamari, <laughs> my little Jojo. Well, he's not little no more. He's Fourteen. Huh? Fourteen. Oh yeah, he's gonna get you. He just somebody just. Snapchat at this whole part right here. Boopie boopie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, so, you know, some years from now, it's going to be 18. Honeydew, how do they spell that when they're looking for you? Oh, um, H U N N I E D E W. Okay. Same. Any producers in the, I mean, that you worked with other than your bad experience? Any other producers? <laughs> um, no, I'm not. So, musically, what producers have you worked with in the area? Um, I haven't really worked with uh, producers. Um, I go to the studio from time to time to uh, Media Jack mm. and um, put, put some stuff down. You know, J. Al. J. Al. J. Al. Shout out J. Al. I have done a song with J. I've done a couple of them. He's done a couple tracks for A. Tony, too. I, I love him, especially yeah. on some R and B, because really he good. got that sound. He hears it. Yeah, yeah. He he does a good job with everything. He, he's awesome. Okay, well, I also know that you've sold a beat recently, so you're also <laughs> producing beats. How, okay, so the the person that got the beat was let's give him a shout out. Really. Yeah, I always get somebody a shout out. They got the beat. We're going to see what they're going to do. On it. Hot fire. <laughs> they better spit that hot fire on that track. I shout out to Swerve. Swerve. Hey, hey, I know. That purchase, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like the beat. Hope you did something with it. Can't wait to hear it. You don't want it to be a waste of money. So, how do they get a hold of you as far as beats? Like, how do they hear you and your beats? Because you have you don't have any music on any platforms. Do you have any beats on platforms? Right. I mean, I usually see people in person, and I end up saying something about it, and I end up letting them hear it, and they be like, you know, can you make me something, or I want to work with you. But they kind of, you know, get my number and everything and never respond back sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, it's like one of those moves. But I need to get some, I need to get some stuff out there on the platform. Okay, okay. I think it'll work out much better. Alright. Um, being BBW, uh, do you find it difficult 
uh, looking for clothes or finding sponsors to look like have you gotten into sponsorships because we do have a store that has a van in this area that focuses oh, only to VBW. she will pull up on you yeah. and i'm so sorry honey i do not know the name of your company because i would shout it out right now but for those in youngstown that know who i'm talking about give her some love hit her up and I'm sure by the time this air she hit me up saying, hey, my name, and I'll tag her to this post, and then y'all know. <laughs> yeah, I need to know. <laughs> so, in this show, we have called Bossed Up. Um, we're putting together a team of models like yourself in different aspects and trying to get them to individually grow as a team at the same time. It's like LeBron, but... He's still connected to that team. He can't right. do it without the team. Yeah. And there's so many different avenues that we're working with that I can't wait to work with you. Give a shout out to Notice Promotions for me. <laughs> That's true. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it's your girl, Kayla Joe, aka Honeydew, and I am a boss up model. Hey. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the interviews available on all of our platforms.